All right, my Scorpio Sag Cuspers, how are you guys? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. Yes, uh, dated for the month of March, but keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the month of March doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And to those of you that are cross watchers watching for a Scorpio Sag Cusper, if I'm saying certain things and speaking to, because I'm going to be speaking to the Cusper here, but if I'm saying things and speaking to the Cusper and yet it resonates for your side of the situation, then go ahead and take it. For that yeah place it as it fits but like we always say don't try and force anything to fit that it doesn't belong because then that's just going to create drama and trouble yeah which is not necessary yeah so um for those of you that are not new to the channel you guys probably know by now since i'm almost done with this series for the month but this is not, this is going to be just like the March readings that I did for 2020, which were very different this time around to the channel. Um, it's just in the way, the format that I did them. The only thing is that I'm not going to be doing love in this one. I'm only going to be doing this, just a general energy, okay? This is the very first time I'm doing readings for Cuspers. I'm still trying to work through them and, and figure out how they work and if you guys really enjoy them or not. Um, and if so, in the future, I would be willing to add love in some way. But for right now, we're just going to get into the general energy. Yeah? Okay, so if you um, are watching this and you are unsure of who or who would be considered a Scorpio Sag Cusper, you would need to have been born between the dates of November 18th to the 24th. Yes? That officially makes you a Sag Scorpio Cusper. Okay? Cool. So with that said, let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpio Sag Cuspers. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of March, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All righty, guys. So we're going to start with the Energy Oracle deck, and let's just see. Let's see what we've got for you guys here. What messages do we have my Sagittarius Scorpio Cuspers? Well, I'm sorry, Scorpio Sag. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, right? Scorpio Sag, Sag Scorpio. Who gives a flying fuck? Just get to the reading. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. One more shuffle for you guys. My Scorpio Sag, Sag Scorpy Cuspies. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope, they're saying one more shuffle. Okay, one more shuffle. Last shuffle. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got for you guys. What do we have for my Scorpio Saggies, my Saggio Scorpies? Healer of the Ages is the first card out. Okay. Um, but now the Anxiety card just flashed me. All right. And so I'm wondering if some of you are coming to terms with the fact that you are healers in some way or you want to be in some sort of healing modality and um it's kind of freaking you out uh it's causing some sort of anxiety here um and i feel like it has to do with the fact that you have some sort of family members or there's something that's expected of you Ooh, there's something that's expected of you by certain people in your life or certain people in your family. Maybe they don't quite agree with that. May, um, okay. Overall energy, you do have the thinking woman. All right. So here, um, the other thing that's going on here is you could be in an energy of... Um, going through a heart chakra awakening. Now, the first thing that I've, I'm picking up on is that I'm speaking to either a man 
or a masculine energy, someone that is more dominantly masculine in nature. You don't have to be a man to resonate with that. You can be physically female um, and still, uh, we could, and we could be talking about the masculine energy within you. But however, I feel like I'm talking to a man, a physical man here, okay? We, let's, let's talk about what we have here. We have Healer of the Ages. That was the first card that came out. We have Man Holding a Heart. And then after that, we have Door to Romance. Now, before I get into the second row here, um, I want to talk about what I was picking up on, you know, with the, at least just the first two cards that are here, all right? So you guys are going through something in which I really do feel like you're going through a heart chakra awakening or um, an expansion of your heart chakra, growing into the truth of who you truly are or more of the truth of who you are. Um, and there's some, there's some energy of coming to terms with that. I, I, and and, and the anxiety card flashed me. It didn't come out completely, but it did show itself when I was talking about 555 on the counter, when I was talking about this healer of the ages energy. Now, there are a few things that, that could be happening here. One, you could actually be getting into an energy where you're starting to realize that you there are some sort of healing modalities that you want to explore or start to practice or learn about. Um, others of you could be going through a heart chakra awakening, having and, and the healer, the, you know, the ascended. I do see this as kind of like a ascended master card sometimes, um, but there is some sort of healing that is happening for you. And healer of the ages could actually represent this time period that we're in, in which a lot of people are going through like this heart chakra awakening. Ooh, goodness gracious! I can't get this. I can't pick up the card. Oh my God! Will you just thank you? Um, and so, because of that, your heart is expanding, you're growing, you're coming, terms, you're coming to terms with some things, and thus then we also have the door to romance here. Um, now, the first thing that I was picking up for, for some of you was that you could be working on becoming a healer or wanting to explore being a healer. And there could be some people in your life or in your environment, particularly family members, maybe even a specific other, a significant other, a spouse, a romantic uh, connection, a romantic relationship um, that doesn't necessarily approve of that. But it could be for financial reasons and it could be for materialistic reasons. And it's interesting because I was picking up on that. And then like I started picking up on that like as one of the first two cards came out. And then woman holding a coin came out. And if we're talking about a man, uh, we could then, this woman, this person that you could be significantly connect, connected to, it could be a mother, it could be a girlfriend or a wife. Um, but also if we're talking about a masculine energy, it could just be that feminine counterpart to you. Okay. Um, but what else has come out with that is adjacent possibilities, woman holding a coin and strategy. And then at the bottom of the deck, you do have thinking woman. Oh, and then there's storm warning at the bottom of that. Okay. Um, underneath that also is attachment. Now there are a number of things that I'm coming, that I'm picking up on here. Um, and so now you could be, now this could be a counterpart energy, especially with door to romance here. I feel like there's some sort of adjustment happening or a shift happening in some sort of relationship, whether it's with someone that you're already with, a significant other, it could very well be a karmic partner um, or someone that you're romantically or energetically attached to. And yet you two, if that is the case, I feel like you two are in very different places in your life. You or the masculine here, is going through like a bit of a heart chakra awakening almost um, and a healing energy, okay? That is allowing this door to romance to uh, be, is allowing this door to, ro to romance not only to materialize in front of you, to manifest in front of you, but to open, to start to open to your, and the, the healing that's coming through with healer of the ages of your heart with man holding a heart is allowing you to be able to even approach this door again, let alone open it. Okay. And then there's another individual here. Now we could either be talking to you and a significant other, you and someone you're energetically connected to, or we're talking about two different people here that are that fall within this Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Um, one being masculine in nature, one being feminine in nature. The one in that is feminine in nature is very much in this thinking woman energy. Okay, very much all about her pentacles or all about 
um, her physical reality, all right? Well, I shouldn't hold adjacent possibilities because that's different. Um, we have the, the woman holding a coin and strategy. I really feel like in terms of, <laughs> this is interesting. It's like the roles have reversed between masculine and feminine. The masculine is more, is more um, vibing with the romance, the love, the healing of the heart chakra. You could really resonate with the masculine collective in terms of like the twin flame reading that I did this past weekend. Um, and then the feminine here is very much focused on money finances, business, physical reality. And it really does feel like this person is really working on strategizing their lives, okay? I'm hearing how to plan or map out the future. Now, I do feel like there is a, there is kind of a worry or a concern that if like, say you are energetically connected to someone and you two are in very different places in your life, there might be a worry or concern that you guys may never come back together. And that's what that what this adjacent possibilities card or energy is kind of referring to. Now, for those of you, like say the masculine here who is going through this heart chakra awakening or this, like this, you know, this healing energy, um, there is, a, there is a woman or a, a counterpart, a feminine counterpart, whether this be a romantic interest or just like a friend or a family member that seems to be kind of almost standing in the way of you healing or of you opening up to love, romance, um, maybe even your own inner feminine energy. And this person has been standing, away, standing in the way for a long time, only helping to reiterate or solidify the like gender norm type energy that's going on in your life that you are working on or this person whomever this is is working on breaking free from and thus we have this storm warning energy here because ultimately this person is only really thinking about things from a materialistic point of view and with you going through this healing energy and even heart chakra awakening, if you want to call it that, you're breaking free from these gender norms or from this cycle of abuse and narcissism is what I'm hearing. And it feels like, well, it seems like, not feels like, it seems like you're needing to put together a strategy and how to cut ties with this person is what I'm hearing. And adjacent possibilities is here to, to, to help you understand that there are plenty, there are a plethora of different ways that this could all work out, okay? Don't get so caught up on the minute details is what I'm hearing. Now, the other thing that I'm picking up on is with this heart chakra awakening that's coming through for you, this could be speaking to the masculine and the feminine energy within you. So as you are healing and opening, as you're healing from a masculine side and opening up to romance potentially, or just more compassion and maybe even unconditionally loving energy, the feminine side of you is taking a really practical aspect to this. It's like, okay, well, as the masculine side of me is really working on feeling and healing healing and cleansing, I'm going to work on how we're practically going to move forward in our lives and using that feminine receptivity in the law of attraction type energy to really strategize and create the new possibilities in your life or the new, the new in your life. Okay. All right. So next I want to look at the tarot here and I want to get a little bit deeper on this. The first thing I want to look at is woman holding a coin. I'm going to be honest with you guys. For the majority of what I'm picking up on right now, this woman holding a coin energy doesn't feel too good. For some of you, this really could be just your feminine side coming through, being very stern, very, mm, very critical, maybe very cutthroat. But I don't feel like for the mo I don't for the most part, I feel like it's a, someone that is external to you that's only been helping you stay stuck in a rut is what I'm hearing. Last shuffle. And then let's look at what is this? What is this woman holding a coin energy? What is this woman holding a coin for my Sag Scorpio, Scorpio Sag Cuspers? Woman holding a coin, please, spirit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. 
shit, man. Look, yeah, I was, look, look, guys. Ten of swords, two of swords. Someone has been in denial about this with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, check it out, y'all. Someone has known, uh, either you or both of you have known that this situation needs to come to an end. However, I feel like it's this woman holding a coin energy that has been perpetuating this five of pentacles here, this lack mentality. And this could be someone that is really extremely narcissistic, yes, but also extremely materialistic. And if we're talking, and okay, so there are those tip, there, there are the typical gender norms or gender roles I was talking about, societal, whatever. Because the dynamic that I'm feeling, whether this is actual man or woman, or it's just masculine, feminine, the feminine here or the woman here, take it as it resonates, apply it to your situation as it goes. But the woman or feminine energy here has been manipulating the masculine into staying in a situation just for financial or I'm hearing comfort reasons. Whether they're making you in the, as the masculine feel inadequate, feel like you can't live without them, feel like you can't do without them, whatnot, whatever, or making you feel like they can't do, live, or, with, or whatever, whatnot, whatever, without you, and basically guilting you into staying, guilting you into continuing with this narcissistic cycle. And I do feel like both of you are the ones here that have been in denial because What I'm hearing is we've known that this was toxic and not safe and not healthy. And from the masculine point of view, I kind of even get that there have been some friends of yours that have been coming forward and being like, yo, this shit ain't cute. But then right underneath this five of pentacles was none other than justice. Okay, justice is coming to the situation, but you have, yeah. Justice with the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles. Okay, justice with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. You have to take this slowly. The Page of Pentacles is a new start, a new beginning. Okay, is a, 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 the new level, is a level up. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady wins the race here. But look, yeah, someone has been in denial for a long time. Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Four of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. Somebody knew that they needed to stand on their own two feet and walk away. And yeah, it's a heartbreaking situation. But justice will be served here. And what's happening, yeah, see, and okay, this really, wow. Okay, so look, healer of the ages, this healing energy that is coming through for you here, this love and compassion that you're opening up to is allowing you to see the fact, see clearly the fact that you got to walk away from this. Which, uh, let me tell you, is also opening the door to romance for you because some real true love could come after you walk away from this. Let's look at this man holding a heart energy. What is this man holding a heart here for my Scorpio Sag Cuspers? Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, the Queen of Pentacles just flashed, but it didn't come back out. All right, look. Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. All right, so yeah, this could have been a soulmate or this could have been a karmic relationship. But I feel like, look, I feel like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself here because this eight of pentacles has fallen, fell, fell out on the healer of the ages. And I was trying to, f I was clarifying what man holding a heart is here for you. So there has been a lot of work you've been doing, okay? And what this is saying, this is reassurance here. The work that you've already done, completed on yourself, Eight of Pentacles, is opening the door for you to quickly and swiftly move forward victoriously. Six of Wands. Six of Cups. A, a, yeah, see, a soulmate is coming into your life. Something that is more fitting for you. Something that is way better for you. Something that is more loving, compassionate. But you have to close out this cycle first, okay? All right, so... Let's, I just want to close this out for you guys here and see what the Moonology deck has for you in terms of this. Yes? For my Scorpio Sag, Sag, Scorps. Last shuffle here. <clears throat> okay. 
I knew it. I fucking knew it. New moon in Libra. New, a new romantic cycle begins. Now, also, this new romantic cycle absolutely has to talk about the, the romancing yourself. This new cycle of love and care and self-respect that is beginning for you as you walk away from this toxic person or toxic situation. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck, uh, two, two, two. Bottom of the deck is super moon. Emotions are running high. Yeah, emotions are running high. But see, the part of it about the emotions running high in this situation is the fact that um, I really feel like you're at this point where you can really feel your emotions now. Like there's no hiding it. There's no getting away from it. But this is where you want to be because ultimately this is going to be better for you in the future. You just have to get through whatever this is. You just have to full moon surrender to the divine. And this is a time to give rather than to take, new moon in Virgo. Give to yourself. Interestingly enough, <laughs> this says it's a time to give rather than to take. Give yourself what you need here. Instead of trying to get it from someone else, instead of trying to take it from someone else, give it to yourself, okay? There you have it, guys. Hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope to see you guys next month. Yeah, for the month of April. Take care. Bye.